I'm going to come in and attach my ADOT thread directly behind that back bead. And for the tail on this pattern, I'm using just one strand of small MFC Sexy Floss. I'm going to take that, I'm going to drape it over the thread. I slide that down. You can see how I'm going to part this on both sides of the hook shank. And then I'm just going to wrap rearward. I'm going to take those wraps down to where I'm about an eighth of an inch above the bottom of that hook band. I don't want to take my material all the way down there. I want to leave that little bit of a gap. And that just ensures that as I fish it, uh, it holds the fish and sticks the way that I want it to. It doesn't crowd that bend up so that I lose gear grip with the uh, shrunken gap of a hook there. That'd be a negative thing. So once I've got that tail tied in, I'm going to bring in this midge stretch tubing. And this is olive. And for this size, I'm very simply going to catch it. Just kind of right in front of that hump. Secure it with a wrap or two. And then I'm going to take that all the way back down to the same spot where I stopped with the tail fibers. So I have that. I'm going to return the thread forward. Just in front of the hump. And I'm going to stretch this tubing out. So put a little bit of pressure on it as you wrap. I'm just going to lay down side by side wraps. I'm just going to take one pass right back up to where the thread is waiting for me there. So I'm going to come over that hump. One wrap over that hump, I'm going to catch the tubing. Cinch it down with a couple good wraps. I'm going to go behind it twice, in front of it a couple times, and snip that excess off. Now at this point, I'm going to grab that hook. I'm going to loosen the vise. I'm just going to tilt it up. And that makes the process of finishing off the top portion of the fly a lot easier. Since I have that taken care of, I'm going to bring in my thin skin. And I'm going to use for the wing case. And you can see I've already notched that. Cut it there. Before I lay that down, I'm going to put a small drop of Zappa Gap in. And that just ensures uh, that this material does not roll side to side on me. As I tie this in. This, uh, this thin skin is wonderful stuff does have a little bit of a slippery texture and so if I put it in there without the super glue I lose a little bit of that grip and tends to kind of slip and rotate on me when I fish it. So you can see that the tips of that wing case are sticking out just past the bend that hump in the middle of the hook. So once I get that I'm going to return my thread here, pull this back, I'm going to wrap right back to that same stopping point. Now I'm going to bring in a little bit of loon swax. I'm going to create a little bit of tack. And I'm going to create a sparse dubbing loop. Now this is a smaller pattern. Uh, this particular hook is a size 14. And so I'm still going to use the sparse dubbing loop that you've seen in some of my patterns. But what I'm going to do to adjust the length of the fibers is I'm simply going to spin it tighter. So the more spins that I take on this, the further it's going to pull the fibers into the dubbing loop and the shorter that they're going to be. So before I bring that forward, I'm going to bring in my leg material. And this is just another strand. Uh, it's another strand of the small Montana um, Fly Company Sexy Floss. And very simply, I'm going to catch a leg on each side. Now I prefer just to drape this over. Take that straight down to the body. And then when you turn it loose, that front leg just pops out. So do that for the leg on the left side. Snip it. Repeat that same process on the right side here. Slide it straight down into the hook body. Release it. The excess will fly out of your way there and you can snug that down. So length of the legs, um, approximately, I'm looking for the legs to reach to the back of the abdomen. And I want to reflect that same or similar length in the front. So I'm going to snip those off relatively. I can always come back and uh, fix those at the end when I'm done if I need to. That's going to give me a little, little bit more room to work as I bring this forward. So once I have that taken care of, uh, I'm going to take a little bit of zap gap. I'm going to touch a drop to it just right here on the underside of the body. And then I'm going to start to take my sparse dubbing loop and I'm going to bring that forward. And that's going to start in front of the back legs. And it's just going to wrap right up to the front legs. To get that wrapped up there, I'm going to catch it. Take a wrap behind it couple in front of it 
I'm going to snip that excess. So now I'm going to pull this forward. My wing case is going to come over the top. I'm going to catch that thin skin with just a wrap. Make sure it's nice and snug. Throw down a couple extra wraps and then I'm going to pull it toward the back. And I'm going to catch that right over the top. Get a wrap or two around the thin skin. Make sure that I'm holding it in a rearward direction. And then go ahead and just snip it off. I want it to be just a little bit in front of the rear wing bud. And once I, I feel like I have that secured, I'm going to come in and whip finish that by hand. Snug that down, snip that off. For the antenna on this, I'm going to come in, I'm going to take my thread, and I'm going to drop it right in between that front and that second bead. Throw down a few wraps. And then I'm going to bring in one strand of Nano Sexy Floss. It's the teeniest, tiniest size. And drape that over the thread. Take that thread, drop it down in between the beads. And once I get a wrap down, I'm just going to take my hands. And I'm going to pull this out to each side. Just to make sure it kind of dangles the way that I want it. Go down another two or three wraps. And then I'm just going to throw in a half hitch or two. This is going to get clear coated over. That clear coat's going to seal this in place where I want it to be. Okay, let's snip that off. For the length of the antenna, I want them to come about back to the back of the abdomen. I'm going to come in there with the scissors and snip them. Now to finish off this wing case, I'm going to bring in just a little bit of UV coat. I'm going to bring in just a little bit of clear cure material here. I'm going to start right on top of the beads. And I'm going to work that right back up into the notches of the wing bud covers. Make sure they got a smooth cover there. A little bit on the back wing buds just to give it a little bit of depth. And come in and cure that with my light.